This is Phil from W2LIE.net and this is our second video on the Uniden Home Patrol 1 which is the new digital scanner from Uniden. Uh, we're going to call this video how to hook up the radio to the computer and install the Sentinel software and how to update the device. Uh, most of the videos on YouTube kind of skip this step so I'm going to take my time and go through it and uh, show you guys how to update the radio to uh, fix some of the bugs. So the first thing we have is we have the uh, unit which is plugged into the wall and we have our USB cable that came in the box and we have our netbook computer which will be running the Sentinel software on. As you've uh, seen from other videos and my first video uh, there is no CD in the box. What you would do is plug the uh, you would plug the Home Patrol into your computer and it will install the software. So uh, let's, get, uh, let's get started with that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to power up the unit. Okay, I don't know if you can read the screen, but uh, what it's saying is before setting up the Home Patrol, we recommend you install the Home Patrol Sentinel on your PC. And there's a button below that says proceed, so we'll click on that. And it says this is an optional step that could take several minutes, so if you're in a hurry to get it going, or if you've already completed this installation, you can skip for it now. And we click on proceed again. To install the Home Patrol Sentinel, plug your Home Patrol USB's cable into your computer into the Home Patrol's USB jack. Home Patrol's screen will be white during the PC connection. Home Patrol will install on your PC like an additional drive. Once the Sentinel installs, it will use your internet connection to see if there is a newer version of the firmware for the Home Patrol and will install also on the latest radio data. To quickly get started, fill in the request information on the following screens. After setup, you'll be able to adjust the settings. Okay, so we're going to stop for here and we're going to start plugging in the, uh, the Home Patrol into the computer. Okay, so let's make that connection. And almost immediately the screen has turned white on the Home Patrol unit and the computer has found the new drive. Okay, so now that we have the Home Patrol hooked up to the computer, we have our removable disks over here. So what we'll do is we will open the folder to view, click OK. And as we see, we have a setup folder. And we'll double click on the setup. and this will install the Sentinel software. And just like most software out there, there is a wizard to help you through the steps. So we'll go ahead and we'll click Next. And of course, if you want to use the software, you have to agree. You're going to tell where you want to put it, who gets to use it. And then we click on Next to start the installation. And that was it. We have now installed uh, the Home Patrol Sentinel. Now also note you may need to install the .NET framework if you do not already have that installed. So let's go ahead and launch uh, the new Home Patrol Sentinel software. Okay, Home Patrol is, uh, is starting up. Let me send that on the screen. Okay, and here we can see that uh, the Home Patrol would like to check for firmware and database updates. Of course, we're going to click OK because this is the first time we are hooking the Home Patrol up to the computer. And we're going to go on the internet now and it's going to fetch the latest data for us. So as you can tell, there is a firmware update already. And again, this is uh, only the 6th of October of uh, 2010, so it looks like they are getting some of the bugs out still.
And now we're writing the new firmware back to the home patrol. And now we are updating the home patrol database. Okay, so now it looks like the firmware will start to uh, update once we disconnect the USB cable. So let's switch modes over here and that uh, will focus back on the home patrol. Okay, so now we're going to remove the USB cable from this. Uh the home patrol and start the firmware upgrade. And there we go. We've now updated the firmware on our home patrol. And you can see it was a very easy process to do. Uh, you just hooked it up to the computer with the, home, uh, the Sentinel software. And the uh, unit reboots once the firmware is completed. So let's continue with the setup of our home patrol. So what we'll do is now that we're set up with the uh, Sentinel, we're going to skip this step. And we're going to click on Proceed. And again, we're going to proceed again, since we've already been here. So now it wants to know some information about where we are, um, as well as our uh, time zone and the current time of day. And we can also change this screen right here, which I know is a little fuzzy, but it says, Welcome to the Home Patrol 1. So we're going to just hit accept on that for now. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the clock. And it says right now that uh, it's 12.02 a.m., which is the current time. And it's got the correct date. And it's going to ask us for a zip code. We're in the USA. And our zip code is 11758. Which I know you guys can find that anyway by looking up my call sign. And it's downloading New Jersey's database, and then New York, uh, being that we're on Long Island and Nassau County, uh, we can easily hear New Jersey, New York City, uh, parts of Connecticut, which it hasn't downloaded, and uh, all of Nassau County. So right now it's building our databases. Once we want to start charging the battery, I'm going to click No. And now it's scanning Nassau County Police, just like that. And there's New York City, the Bronx. And keep in mind, this is all from the antenna. That's attached right to the side of the unit. No outdoor antenna right now. I hope you've enjoyed this video on setting up the Home Patrol and the Sentinel software on your computer as well as updating the firmware and the initial setup of the unit itself. And again you can find more information on the Home Patrol and also if you're interested in ordering them uh, I do have links on my website and it's a nice way of saying thank you for the video uh, by using the links on my site to purchase your own Home Patrol. Uh, again, we uh, are looking at making more videos on how to set up your favorites list and use some more of the features of the Home Patrol unit. Again, I am Phil, W2LIE from www.w2lie.net, wishing you 7-3 and happy scanning.